decided I wanted to be a fighter, man, it had to have been really early. Six or seven. So then when I was eight, did classes for like two years, Taekwondo, went to a whole bunch of tournaments, watched boxing, Tuesday night fights all the time. Watched as much fighting movies as I could and uh, when I was a junior in high school, some guys came up to our high school wrestling practice that were fighters and that's when I realized, hold on a second, this is something I wanna wanna do. So when I graduated, it was just full time, just working out for uh, MMA. It might have been around UFC 33, roughly around that time. And the sport wasn't that big, but I I enjoyed all aspects of uh, MMA. And um, UFC was taken off, and uh, that was my goal to to do what uh, my training partners were doing, uh, be world champions and go into the UFC and uh, beat people up. The crowds are great, especially at the MGM in Vegas, but a fight's still a fight, no matter how many people are watching. It's time to shine. This isn't a dabbling sport. This is kind of a rough sport to be not all in. If I feel good and I'm enjoying what I'm doing and my body's healthy, I'll just keep doing it. But if one day I decide, hey, I'm done, or my body just can't do it anymore, then see ya. I don't believe in superstition. I just think it's... You have a good, good energy is, is definitely a, a plus, but... I don't think if you put your right hand wrap on before your left one or your left one on before your right one, or pack your underwear on one side of your suitcase or the other. <laughs> oh, so, someone doesn't mind being on camera. I told them, I was like, you know you might be on TV or the internet without a shirt on, right? I said, really? <laughs> All excited. A little exhibitionist <laughs> like me. <laughs> Tons of undies, all right. Yeah. Sweet. Do you need more shorts? I think so. Give me like one more pair. There's a Japanese thing that when you fold clothes, you're putting love into the clothes. And then when somebody puts them on, and then you're wrapping them with your love. Oh, that makes me feel better. Yeah. About wrapping these so many times. It makes you feel better doing my laundry now. I get all warm and fuzzy about it. It's amazing. <laughs> Vegas. Uh, remain seated just a little bit longer till we get to the gate. Yes, yeah, I need to take a picture. Somebody, come on. I got you. I got you. Love fighting in Vegas. Never lost here. It's a fight town. You never worry about the fight, like really get nervous. I'll probably go out, yeah, go out, watch the fireworks, get a good sleep in, and then get on weight. So it is, Vegas is perfect because you wander around the hotels and the casinos and you got so much to keep you entertained. My family, they, they come to all the fights, they're good as gold. My parents are already here. So. You know, we rally around and we love the sport ourselves, but we followed Joe's, you know, in all his fights since he was a kid. We're a very close family. We're on that journey with Joseph. We all, whatever one is doing, the whole family is in there with them. My mother used to train with me. I think she started maybe a few months after I started. I became one of the team which brought us very, very close. Did a little bit of grappling and um, competed in that and actually loved it. <laughs> yeah, I feel great, man. It's going to be no different this time around. You know, I can fight the first fight of the night or the, or the main event, it's the same. So I kind of like it because I get the fight done at 4 o'clock in the afternoon. I can go take a shower and watch Robbie, you know, keep his belt. I'd rather fight early like that. You know, mid-afternoon, getting a nice slug fest with somebody. Not a whole lot, really, a change. You know, I'm always nervous and anxious before a fight, but that's just part of fighting. It's kind of tunnel vision, focus on the fight. You know, when my music oh, yeah, plays, yeah. It's, it's go time. You know. I had a great time in, in Dublin. 
awesome city. I had fun, man. And the fans were awesome out there. I think I got a, a lot of their respect, man. But when I went to Ireland, everybody was cool. But um, he goes by Irish Joe, but it, what I hear is kind of Cana Canadian Joe, maybe. That's what the Irish fans are telling me, so I don't know. Yes. Good? Yep. Great, right where I want to be. Thanksgiving and Christmas, wait. It's like a world of difference. Yeah. What up, dude? Hey, uh... So Will you guys give you a call text me call. like when you need me to like retweet you? Because yeah. I don't ever see him until like down. after <laughs> so you know, you start, start yelling at us right away. God damn. Business as usual. Yeah. Just stay in focus on the task at hand, which is getting better every day and winning. I just think when you win the belt, for me, I just became more focused. Not that I wasn't focused before. I think it's just fine details and, and a lot of fine tuning and keeping everything sharp. So task at hand and stay relaxed. Unless you want to do the creeper. I mean, now you, yeah. <laughs> we have Mr. Condit for you guys. What's up, guys? I'm just going to quickly just break him in and then Put some plaster in there. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead and grab my hand. Give yep. a shot? Yep. <laughs> Burn myself. I had hot oil splash from a pan onto my fucking side. Where are you going stages? And I too? screamed like a girl. Take a look at that. Looks good. <laughs> <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> That's it. Chin down a little more. Right there. Uh, tell me when to look mean. <laughs> Nice, there it is. You guys know that it's gonna be black next time you see it. Yeah, exactly. Okay. So, how can we do it? Yeah. So both hands on the hips for me. One more trick. Ah! Nice. Yeah, get a little tighter, guys. Yeah. 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 Yeah.